Well, um, I had a great question come over my YouTube messaging about um, my Victoria's Secret uh, knockout uh, sports bra. And um, as an update, it is a great bra. I, I really love it. When I bought my first ones, um, I was still too large for the size that I got. And uh, I didn't realize that until I got home with the bras. And then uh, I ordered a next size, cup size up. And um, the stores, the only stores that have them around here are in the big cities. And um, they don't have them in my little mall. So um, so you have to order them online. And then this my size like was back ordered. And it took like a month to get... <laughs> To get to me and <clears throat> and then when I got it I was a little smaller and the next size up was way too big so I took that back to my local Victoria's Secret and and then there was a sale or something where I had a ten dollar off card and I actually ordered a, a size down um, for as I get smaller and I and again that was back ordered online and it took like a few three weeks or something to get here and I'm still a little big for that one um, so I'm still using the my original ones that I got but <clears throat> I really love uh, now that it fits right I really really like this sports bra it's um, really comfortable really um, supportive uh, I've never bought an expensive sports bra before but it is totally worth it for a big busted girls um, and here's what it looks like and it's it's front opening which is great for me because I can't get those other ones it has a little zip flap in front that also adds support to the whole thing and then um, it's a regular bra underneath a front opening bra it's a regular bra underneath um, but the zip and see it opens in the front but the zip flap um, adds more support it's just super comfortable super comfortable super supportive and I really really like them um, they just had a sale $15 off these bras but we still had to pay shipping unless it's like a hundred dollar order so I didn't get them but so I really like it another update is I just got yesterday um, evening a Garmin ah, Garmin um, GPS running watch this is the forerunner 610 all the runners I guess have these Garmin watches and what they are is their GPS uh, enabled so uh, you can keep track of your distance and your pace and as well as your heart rate with a heart rate monitor strap um, as well as a whole bunch of stuff and I was looking and researching online with Garmin.com comparing the different models the model I wanted the 620 is like $399 $400 and I was looking at Sports Authority I was I was looking for a sale nothing ever goes on sale um, finally uh, a, a runner another runner in my running group had this one the 610 which is an older model but you she really I asked her if she liked it she really liked it and then I researched it again on Garmin.com and it had like the comparable features of the 620 the 620 is the updated one a little bit but pretty comparable features a touch including a touch screen which is what I wanted so I found it on um, Amazon.com for $199 for uh, a reconditioned Garmin model with through a kind of a factory outlet um, uh, dot com or something so I ordered it finally it's been months that I've been wanting to get one because when you're running it's like how far have I gone how far do I have to go and I ask my running coach all the time because she has a Garmin <laughs> So now I have my own, and today is the first day ever that I've worn it, and I'm going running with my running coach in a short while, in an hour, so I'll try it out for the first time. And it came with a heart rate monitor strap that you put around that you put around your waist, 
um, like my polar polar soft straps. The soft strap goes around here like like my other polar watch underneath my clothes. Um, and it came with all the attachments. It came with the charger. It came with a, a little USB thing. It came with everything I need. So I'm really super excited to learn how to use it and try it out today for the first time. So uh, it's also a watch. So uh, you can just, I wanted something I could wear to work. And then if I met up with my running coach afterwards or went for a run or something, I, I wouldn't have to ch change watches. So that's very exciting. Uh, in, in terms of my fitness update, things are going really, really well. Um, I've been really, really, really great on my uh, diet, which is a food plan that uh, um, I pay to have sent to me, a special bodybuilding type plan. Um, and I'm sticking to it. And it uh, feels really good. This, the food that you eat is uh, high-protein bodybuilding food. So it's nothing exciting at all. And it takes a while to get used to eating this way. But I've done it before. So I've done it for uh, a couple years. So I, I don't have a problem anymore with it. When I first did it many years ago, it was a huge problem. A huge problem. But now I know what to expect. So um, I've been getting my plans and staying on my plans, and that's been really good. When I'm on the plan, I have lots of energy. Um, it's great. Workout food. You don't feel too heavy or too stuffed or weird or anything. You want to you wanna work out because you feel ready, and um, it's doing my body good. I'm leaning out slowly but surely. Um, I... Uh, the psychological and emotional part is is the most difficult for me um and i have made videos but i didn't post them because sometimes i'm just in this psychological funk about this whole process of getting ready for a figure competition again and um i have some really down mental days and some really up mental days and um, so it's hard to post them, you know, and it's also sometimes I'm just really struggling because it's a long process for me. I have like 50 pounds to lose and it's like, oh my God, this takes forever. Am I making any progress at all? You know, and then I feel the progress and then I look in the mirror and it doesn't look like I want and then I get depressed again. So it's a, it's a big psychological and emotional journey for me personally. So that's what makes it difficult for me. The food is going great. In fact, I'm cooking up my food for preparing for the weekend and next week's food. I do it all at once or over a couple days so that I get it all done and it's all weighed and measured and portioned out. So I just have to grab it out as I go, which makes it a lot easier for me. So um, that's all good. My training's going really well. Um, I'm sticking to the training plan. I have my running coach, so that has really helped me uh, add conditioning, and um, it's exciting to get some conditioning back. Uh, I have my CrossFit once a week, and that's going much better now that I work out again Monday through Friday lifting weights the CrossFit is just going a lot better than it did when I wasn't and what else and this Saturday I'm signed up for another 5k which is really really hard for me but um our little running group all runs that much anyway on a Saturday so we're all gonna do it so that'll be good we don't get to use our garments it's where you guess how far how fast you're gonna go and whoever's closest uh, wins so it's not a speed race it's just a guess race so that'll take the pressure off I'm counting down the weeks let's see I'm on this will be um, 23 weeks out from my November competition and if I compete in October, which I'd like to do too, then it is um, 18 weeks out. Um, I, I do want to do this October competition, but I'm not sure I'll be um, at a low enough body fat weight. 
um, to uh, look good on stage. So I'm kind of worried about that. I really want to start registering because sometimes I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere and then I have to remind myself I am, I'm making progress, and then I want to do something extra to show myself I am going to be there. I am getting there. So this week I sent in my NPC renewal dues, which is the National Physique Committee, which is the committee that I compete under. I sent that in this week, so that was exciting. That was $120 for a year's uh, dues till the end of the year, so not even a year. But um, that'll allow me to compete in the October and November show that I that I picked. So I have my shows picked. There's actually three I think I'll be ready or close to ready to do, two in October, one in November. And my next step will be registering. This Saturday, the registration opens for the November show, so I'm going to do that because that is my, I, I know I'll be ready for that show. Um, October, I'm kind of tossing around whether to register yet or wait until like August or September and see how I'm doing. So anyway, it's going really, really, really well. I'm, um, I'm, I feel lean. I feel small. But I'm not small yet, which makes me, I'm impatient about that. Um, and I'm getting in much better condition, which is very, very exciting. So things are going really well. So I wanted to share those things and um, make a little video while I'm cooking food and waiting for the time to run with my running coach and um, just kind of relaxing and, and uh, feeling good. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.